How's it going everybody? It's Gorilla Man here back with another Car Mechanic Sim 2021 uh, video. In today's video guys we're going to be working on story mission number 4 and I also got a few things done uh, in the meantime before this video. So let me just start showing you that right away. As you guys can see here I am level 5 and that means oh, right here that's where it is. I upgraded to a wrenching speed of 20% increase and then I also got a 5% discount on parts now which I think it's going to be really, really helpful. Um, I also figured out in the top right, the little blue gear icon, that is scraps. So I don't know if this is the table or which one, where are the tables that it gives you later on. Uh, you unlock this one right here. So it's salvaging. So it's like salvage or upgraded parts. Or it's something to do with that. It's, ooh, what is this? Advanced color palette. Oh, I see. Uh, where is the car wash? Ah, okay. All right, so now I'm at 10,744 credits, and I think I'm going to unlock some of the tools on the right here. Um, Just because some of these tools here, like the battery charger, the welder, uh, it allows us to extend our services, which is something that I really want to do. So you have, like, the welder, compression tester, OBD scanner, tire, battery charger fuel pressure and electronic multimeter the other ones we have here is just like the workbench uh fixed mechanical parts that's a really really good one that's like the first thing that we want to try and go for when we do get like more money uh body repair station engine tools engine crane yep and then the brake lathe which will allow us to redo our rotors which i think maybe drums too but i think just rotors uh but i'm gonna unlock the oh or i could unlock garage expansion hmm i'm gonna unlock the battery charger first all right and then there's our battery charger over here in the corner okay and then what i'm expecting here is eventually we'd be able to add in another task that says like oh battery needs to be charged or something like that i don't know where it would be in here but i also can unlock four tasks well let's go outside i do have a car out here waiting for the story mission it is the uh mitsubishi looking eclipse thing i think i think this was either an eclipse or i think what did i say last time i can't remember it was either an eclipse or a prelude is what i thought maybe i think it's probably an eclipse though uh good amount of stuff oh wow hello i saw that you got good quite good reviews and i thought that you surely be handled my problem i've been a few experts right things the tech expert said each expert did and did didn't match out all up what well, weird um of course the problem is still there it boils down to consistent banging it's unbearable the gearbox isn't working properly after the last quote repair after a week changing gear it became a nightmare please check it on that and try to fix any problems I'm counting on your honesty. It's the last chance for my car. If this doesn't do the trick, I'll have no other option but to get rid of it. Anyway, let me know what happens. Change oil. So three pages here of stuff. Wow, this is going to be a big boy. So we're gonna move this into the garage. So the sounds of it is, so if I go in here, it looks like the thing's fine. Oh wait, what the heck? Is that missing suspension? That is a bug. Yep, that is a bug or is it missing parts? What in the heck? Whoa, wait, are those parts back on it? Okay, now they're back on. That was a really weird bug. Yeah, that was really really weird. It's okay. So you said there's lots of banging and stuff like that I'm going to fast forward through this examination process go. I'm gonna go through and examine every single um, Item I can on the car to figure out what could be and what could be wrong. I just you can see off the bat um, And then after that I'll hop back in with you guys also someone pointed out in the comments section of the last video or the first one of the two um, If you go into the examination mode and you just hold this and you just start examining parts you get one experience per for examination which is pretty good that's one experience a second 60 experience a minute you know that's 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 pretty good 
so i'm just gonna sit here and i'm just gonna do this to about all the suspension parts um maybe a couple top end engine parts and i'll let you guys know what i find so i'll be back here with this hopefully this whole thing fully like discovered i guess or examined and i'll i'll let you guys know what i find i think i'm seeing some bad parts kicking up there in the back so see you guys here in a second all right guys this is what it looks like after examining probably close to 60 ish parts here uh let's see what did we find still okay so it ranks them in what we have discovered when we haven't discovered okay so i'm probably gonna get this up in the air not fully and i'm probably gonna pop off all the wheels take a look at the brakes first because i do yeah there's hubs and stuff like that that are bad let's pop all this out i think i'm gonna start with the suspension and then i'll work my way back into the motor after i am done let's see 70 percent and what does it want uh front sway bar rear sway bar drive shaft i think this stuff is good but I do still have to remove some of these end links. So steering rack looks bad. Okay, so any generic or basic parts for the suspension and or steering are looking to be what is in bad shape. These rusted nuts also keep really getting to me because I see those immediately. I'm like, oh, bad part, bad part, but they're fine. They're actually fine. Okay, let me pop this one out because I got to take the steering rack out. Is there a bad hub bearing in there? There is. So maybe it's pretty equal on both sides, which could be really, really convenient, actually. It can make it a lot easier. ECU's looking good. All right, front drive shaft's out, not steering rack, drive shaft. Uh, sway bar's got to be accessed from under the car. Okay. Well, in that case, I'll just hop to the rear here. All right, I gotta take this out to, I gotta take the tire off to get the end link out. Hub's probably bad in the back also though. So let's see here. Let's see, hub bearing is 67%. I don't believe that is as bad as they wanted it to be for me to take it out. So I'll probably leave it. Uh, that rubber bushing looks bad stuck to yep 14 percent this one looks quite possibly bad also uh 14 percent i think all these bushings in the back here might be bad yeah 14 14 10 a seven percent or wow that is rough let me see this bushing right here looks fine let me drop this sport tire off Give that a good old WD-40 spray, or I think they say DW-04. All right, let's take a look here. And then I do believe that if you guys are playing along with me or anything like that, or you guys are going to get the game, I do believe that some of these story missions are the same, or at least in 2018, I think most of the story missions were the exact same. All right, looks like the fuel is all good. Put this in. I think I have one more. Nope. All right, let's get um, some rubber. Right, rubber bushing. We'll buy 10 of these at a 5% discount. Yeah, that discount's going to be huge for us. Okay. Get this in the air. I have a feeling that a lot of the problems of this car here lie in the motor in the top end of the motor i have a feeling that the entire top end is really bad um i think the gearbox is also pretty pretty bad if i can even get over this let me get this out from the engine bay i hate it when they do that uh we'll wait to put that back together let me drop this back down let me go in here. Let me mark those parts. I think we didn't need our end links. So tab, uh, rear sway bar A, front sway bar. Okay, we can delete that. 
tab like this good let's go back in here check this Get the starter out toss her back up take a look at the gearbox i think it's i don't think it's the gearbox itself yeah the gearbox itself looks perfectly fine i think it is most likely the clutch flywheel and or pressure plate or thrust bearing or probably all those things Ooh, got a little rusted bolt here on the bottom hey all right looks like we got a bad flywheel and clutch plate is what it looks like yeah that'll uh that'll that'll not allow your uh yep that'll that'll mess some stuff up all right let's go pick up a new clutch pressure plate and let's also get ourselves a flywheel i don't think i'm gonna have to take apart the bottom end of the motor i think they'd expect you to tear the motor out before they actually have you look at the pistons or have the compression testers or something like that so we're gonna just put this thing back together fingers crossed that we don't actually have to take this stuff apart because if you you have to take the crankshaft out or take a if you have to take a piston out you're gonna have to probably go through all this again so put this back on just try and save myself some time here all right so now i think if i go check the parts yeah we got a good amount of stuff discovered but there's still a very 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 large amount let me see here what is where's our tires at where's the tires we just ripped out tire 69 75 74 and 69 okay so it looks fine so immediately i can tell off the bat here ignition coils definitely bad some of them are bad 72 so you definitely need a few ignition coils uh took off this head cover and i'm pretty sure i'm gonna probably reveal just an absolutely demolished camshaft yep and there she is uh looks like we got a couple bad spark plugs probably gonna have to take off yeah let me just click right here zoom in get this so i gotta get a new camshaft i'm gonna have to probably check out the cam gears and everything like that i'm sure this being the double overhead cam i'm probably gonna need at least one that'd be my assumption All right, let's pop down over here. It's really annoying not to be not being able to remove this out of the car, actually, because I would love to just disconnect the gearbox and then drop this whole thing out. It makes it way easier to at least work on these. Yeah, I forgot we got some really long screws here. I've also increased the wrenching speed by 20%, so. Oh, okay, okay, hold on, hold on here. Okay, some of these parts are actually in decent shape. Oh, I gotta take that out to get to it. Okay. Alright. Sorry, belt tensioner. You can pull it out, buddy. Drop this. Add the roller looks fine. Cam gear. Okay, so it's the opposite side that I'm gonna have to really mess with then. It's these timing gears. Bad one? Okay, cam gear A is bad. All right, well, after I drop this out, I'm gonna be real with you, I'm not gonna be too sure what else could be wrong. All right, so there's that. And there are still some parts not discovered. There's a lot of parts not discovered, actually. Huh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I mean, fuses look good. Relay type B, seventy percent. These look pretty, uh, pretty good to me. Uh, let's see, what else could I pop out of here? Maybe an air filter cover. 
I guess now I'm just checking filters. Filter looks pretty new. I'm just really afraid that I'm gonna put this whole thing back together and I'm gonna have no clue. There's no way it's all these bushings, is it? Hmm. I'm just trying to think. I think I definitely want some more examination parts on me, don't I? Hmm, okay. Let's see, we're gonna buy an OB, OBD scanner, compression tester. Yeah, we're gonna get all these. Onboard diagnostic stools, yep. All right, we're picking up everything except for the welder for now. We want the tools, we want the tools. All right, well, let's actually make use of everything we got now. OBD scanner, this will tell us everything that's electronically correct or incorrect. Oh, there we go, okay. So those all look good. Let me double check, did it do anything for us here? Nope, doesn't look like it. All right. Uh, engine needs to be complete to perform the pressure test. Tire tread test, the wheels are missing. Uh, electronic multimeter. Okay, this is like fuses and stuff. Medium, 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 medium. Oh wow, this has really given us a lot of experience. Oh my gosh, wow, that is a good way to farm experience. Uh, compression tester. Okay, so that really didn't help too much, honestly. Let's see, camshaft I4B. All right, well. And how does the inside of the car look? Let me. Hmm, what have we not really taken a look at then? I mean. Maybe some more bushings. I mean, these bushings look fine. Uh, front exhaust looks fine, I think. Intake manifold looks fine. It is a plastic one, so it's hard to tell. Seventy-two. Yeah, no. M maybe it's body. How was that? In that good a shape oh my gosh I took the body panel off and it comes back perfectly clean hmm you know guys I might be at a loss here I might have no clue like absolutely no idea part not discovered part not discovered all right I'm just gonna start going through the motions and putting everything back the way I think it needs to be um yeah really doing the i guess the best i can with the tools i have at the current moment which kind of sucks to say but i think that's really all i can do wonder if i can use no oh, can i use space to buy things i can't okay that's fine man i wish there was an enter key right by my tab key and i could just click through these really really quick um i got the cam gear a give me timing chain uh right here tab spark plug two please tab ignition coil two of those oh my gosh give me off of the body assemble mode there we go all right well i really don't want to take the top end of the motor off so i'm th just think i'm just going to call it here for now and try and Try and put it back together. I mean, I'm kind of just going off what looks rusty and what's not, so. I don't know. Maybe when I put this thing back together, I'll discover some more stuff. Yeah, we'll probably just go with that. Plus, I've been working on this one for quite a while. Uh, okay, guys. So, I just ran the compression test, and it looks like... We have two bad pistons. Also, this is a bad bushing right there. Oh, okay. I think I may have found the other set of parts I haven't figured out yet. Yep, it's the bushings. 
Okay, so let's see here. What do I am at? What am I at now? Anything still undiscovered? Still a ton of stuff undiscovered. Wow, okay. Well, let me put these bushings in. So now I know that there's two pistons with connecting rods that are bad. What else could be bad? Definitely getting the tools helps out a lot, especially, I guess, around level five. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's see. What what is not discovered on this car so far? So we got the two pistons and then we have three six eight things Still left undiscovered. What have I not went into that has eight components? I mean Let me Let me get this thing off. Let me get this thing off the lift. Let me get this thing outside. All right, because I'm getting confused here. Let me hop in. All right, interior looks pretty mint. Okay, okay, this thing, this thing rips. What could it be? Drive the car? There's no need to drive it. Parking, test track. Let's take it to the test track really quick. Because I'm really not sure what is wrong. Okay, let's do the slalom. Oh, driving in this game is a lot better now. A lot more responsive. Oh, and you can drift too. Okay. Alright, acceleration. Oh, don't hit the wall. Brand new car, don't hit the wall. Or I guess, not my car. Alright, suspension test. So I guess I could have taken it on these tests. And... Brakes weren't that good, though. Brakes are pretty bad. I don't think that actually translates to uh, what we have, though. Uh, so we found two more rubber bushings that were bad. Oh, wow, that actually helps a ton. I just got an achievement too. a road tested uh, interior parts shopping list tablet move the car car status uh, Still got swap options Story order task bonus job bonus 2100 bucks to finish this Hmm So I knocked out two more parts there. So it's not braking, it's not suspension. It's not acceleration related either, I guess. Um, I think I've looked at the entire fuse box, I believe. Yeah, I've scanned the entire fuse box. What is looking like we haven't looked at it at all? What the brake booster? Brake booster looks fine. No rust on it. ABS and everything looks fine. Wow, I am. Uh, I think I'm. I think I'm stumped right now, guys. I'll bring this into the shop and I'll work on the uh, the two other bearings that I need to uh, work on here. But honestly, I think. What are we missing? I mean, I really want this engine tool. Yeah, I really like the edge of tool stand. Test path would have been really, really good. Car wash, salvaging, and another lifter. Hmm. Well, let me go actually out to this view really quick. Oh, okay, so those ones were bad. All right, I think before I bring in every story order now, I might have to start like breaking it down examining every single thing because ah, this is oh this is crazy difficult I, i'm just somewhere something's got me and i see these rusty parts not those it's not the fuel tank it's not the muffler car ran great kicked over it took a minute to kick over but that's just because uh bad down here hmm did it look 
Mm, okay, I'm gonna do something here. I'm gonna do one more thing before I call it on this car. Do we have any other good ones? Just put new engine oil and filter. Wow, see like these orders. So easy. Oh, my spin job. Uh, where is my oil stain? There it is. Okay, let's drain all of the good brand new oil. Look at that. Absolute waste. All right, and now we're going to drop the oil pan. I'm going to see if it's the bearings in here that are bad. Oh, it is the bearing caps. I think it's bearing caps and rod caps that are all bad. Aha! We found the culprit. That is... That is good to know. Huh. Well. I mean... I guess I have to take the whole top end of the engine off now, don't I? Dang. Oh, man. That's a shame. I really didn't want to have to do that. Oh, actually, I need to put it back. Actually, I don't need to take the crank out, so I don't need to take the gearbox out. All right, guys. Well, we're going to end the video here. That's pretty much like an example of how difficult some of these missions can do. I guess if you're on this mission, now you know uh, that it was the rod caps. Um, I think I would have probably saved time if I would have just disassembled the entire car and put all the parts back with what I had examined. But uh, hey, now you know, now I know. Apparently rod caps don't show up on any, any type of thing. Like I know what they are now. It's rod caps and it's crankshaft bearing caps. Those are like the, these are the six parts that I don't have here. Those are the ones there. Uh, but now I know. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video so far, leave a like, comment down below. I will be finishing this one out and then I will have the new one ready to go in the next video. The new story order. I believe story order five will be the next one we do. This is number four. So maybe there's maybe there's 50 orders. Maybe there's one for every single level, but I, I highly doubt it. But there we go. I learned a bunch in this episode. I hope you guys learned a bunch too. If you guys are liking the content so far, leave a like and a comment down below. Um, let's see. What else do we have in here though? salvaging car wash you know what give me the car wash all right one second before we end this i'm gonna end this on a good note let's go to the wash oh wow it takes me to the car wash okay oh interior detailing makes it all sudsy nice all right now what is this Ah, exterior is all sudsy too. Okay, and that's it. That's really cool animation. There. I like that. Wow, this is actually the car looked like a piece of crap when they brought it in, but it's actually pretty, uh, pretty mint. I will say, like, no, maybe a little orange peel on the uh, on the paint, but other than that, hey, looks uh, looks pretty fancy to me, but. There we go, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, comment down below. Subscribe if you guys subscribed yet. And I'll see you guys in the next Car Mechanic Sim 2021 video. I can do it.